Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and the Halloween 2022 event is continuing. We are to the next item, item 5, in the list of things to bring to the Druidic Stones. It's called Pendant Against the Evil Eye, and this is where we actually get to go back in time and catch some of the Gar monsters that we used to catch in the previous Halloween events. It all started with the Gar monsters. <laughs> I love those guys. It would be the uh, Albino Yeti Gar, the Green Ogre Gar, and the Black Vampire Gar. And they are new locations from what they used to be years ago, but now you can get the Green Ogre Gar in the Heron River, the Albino Yeti Gar at the Everglades, and the Black Vampire Gar at the Quanchkin Lake. It used to be that the Albino Yeti was the biggest, I believe, and, or it was either that one or the Green Ogre. Now the Black Vampire Gar is the biggest, but and they are big, I will tell you that. You can catch them usually in spots where you can catch their associated uh, similar species in those locations. So Naharan River usually has the uh, Long Nose Gar, the Everglades has the uh, Florida Gar, the Vampire Gar is in the same locations as the Alligator Gar and Quanchkin. So what we're going to do, we are going to go in here and see if we can't catch some of these guys for you. I'm not going to sit there and fish for every one of these because I need to catch a total of 18 of them. Six of each of these species. It's going to take a while. Even, even if I get really lucky and I'm using a lot of rods, it's still going to take a while. A lot longer than an episode that you're probably wanting to watch. But I will at least get a few so you can get some representative samples and finish out this entire event or portion of the event by the end. So let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory. I have not got everything thrown in here just yet but I'm going to be using mostly bottom rods and I am going to use a float rod which is the equator match and that sucker goes up to 83 pounds. I'm not messing around, I'm catching these guys and I'm gonna put some decent sized hooks on here I'm gonna kind of decide which size to use once I get there I don't need the hell's bells I can take those off because the rod holder I've got has alarms on it already the baits that we need to bring with us are these we need to bring the pig's eyes and the rotten minnows and I'm trying to remember what the other big one was that we used to use for these guys. Uh, shoot. Not these. These are new ones. Actually, any of these will work, to be perfectly honest. It's just that those specific ones will work even better. They might be down in here. Let's see. I thought there was one more that was specific to it. Let me make sure I didn't miss any of them. And that is possible. See, I've got more pig's eyes at home. I'm going to put that in the black. And more rotten minnows. Now these candy, they are really, really good. Might as well pack them in there because they're good for catching the bluegill skeletons. So I might as well make sure that those are thrown in there as well. I can't remember what the other one was for the gar. I know it was a rotten minnow. Oh, dead mice. That's what it was. I don't think I have any dead mice. Yeah, I do. I've got 56 of the darn things. Let's throw them in there, too. All right. We've got them. Dead mice, pig's eyes in a pig's eye, and rotten minnows. Those are the main baits for these guys and we're going to use a little bit of each but let's go ahead and jump in here in Quanchkin eh no let's go to Naharan we might as well start with the smallest one that's the Ogre Gar now if you're going to go to Naharan you need to go probably either to Woody Enchantment or rubble of old times those are the two best places to fish for these guys at least it is for the long nose gar and I'm sure it will be the same for these as well I'm gonna try woody enchantment because I've had a lot of luck getting them 
with a woody enchantment. So let's go ahead click pick a private room. We'll go fishing and see if we can get one fairly soon. Now we are gonna have to go to nighttime. These guys are just better to catch at night. And I think it even says that in the mission. Let's see here. No, it doesn't really say here, but trust me, I always seem to catch them better at night. So let's go ahead and set that up. Take it to 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. And as we already know, it doesn't peaks do not make it. Peaks do not make a difference, so let's put our four rod pod down. And we do need to bait these up. So I'm going to go with a pretty good size hook. At least a four rod. And I'm going to put a four rod on all of these. Now I might size them up as we go. Now as far as the baits go, wait a minute, let's see here. I thought I got one for that. Apparently I did not. Yeah, there we go. Now as far as baits go, we're going to go ahead and place the ones I was talking about. Now, this is a heavy chaser. I'm just ha it doesn't really have to be anything except strong enough to be able to handle about a roughly take on it. A decent sized fish, but they don't usually get seriously big. Probably I think about 20 pounds maybe. I'm not 100% certain if I remember how big the ogre guard get. But I'm going to start with dead mice on this one. Uh, where is... Here they are. Rotten minnows on this one. Oh, I don't have a sinker on here. That was going to say, why is that not working? Okay, what size... Okay, we got a carp sinker that's going to work. For this one... Just dead mice again. This one I'm going to use pig's eye. Oh, I don't have anything on there. Alright, let me go ahead and fix that up and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you what I'm using here. Guys, I am back. I did manage to get the proper gear. I didn't realize I didn't have a reel for this particular equator match rod, but I do now, and we can make this happen. But like I said, most of these are just regular bottom rods, four rod hooks, pretty heavy line. You're going to not need seriously heavy, but I can already tell you this happens to be a great spot right here for them, for the long nose gar. So I'm guessing that's going to be true for these as well. And I'm just going to place as many of these along this little length of lily pads that are on the opposite shore as I can. It should be where these ghosts are, or these Alec, these gar are as well. Gar are? <laughs> gar are. are. Alright, let's see. I'm going to put one right here by... Oops. Got this stick up here. And I'm going to try a float rod right over here. I've got it pretty shallow. They usually, if you're float fishing for them, they're usually caught pretty shallow. Like, doesn't look like you're wasting any time. Ah, you gotta be kidding me, man. 
strike was done too early. Well, that didn't take long. Now, there are flathead catfish here, and they do go for some of the same baits, but I think this is what we're after. There you go. First one, green ogre gar, and that is not a pretty face, as you can see. They are some seriously, seriously ugly. They're the ugliest of the three fish. Okay, 43 pounds. I was trying to get a, get an, a, an idea of how big they are. Now, I think they're 40 in the 40s. And the albinos are in the 60s. And I think the vampires are in the 80s. They do get big. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this guy looks like. I'm not sure if he's on the top end of things. Or if he's... A smaller version but that's what they look like if you haven't seen them before I've had plenty of episodes where I've caught them so we're gonna keep him because we got another bite number one now this is my least heavy of my gear here so this one's going to be a little harder to bring in, but not impossible. So far I've been really getting them on the mice. Okay, he's 40, so he's a little smaller, so yeah, I guess 40 is about about average. So that's already two of them, guys. See, it's not not too bad. And that's been true for most of these events. Been very pleased with that. It's not been as time consuming as, like, say, for instance, that one I'm doing for that monster fish over in Maku Maku Lake. <sighs> Trying to catch all those payara and biaras. I, that one. That one was maybe a little bit too tough, honestly. A little bit too tough, yeah. But 24 inches if you're float fishing. It just seems to be a nice number to try with these guys, and it seems to be true for each type of species. And again, like I said, you could get a flathead with these. Doesn't look like he's gonna. Looks like he quit. These guys are really biting really well, I must say. That's the third one so far. I thought I was gonna have to cut away quite a bit, but I'm not so sure I'm gonna have to. But guys, this is a great set of fish that you can fish for to get cash and XP. If I can get him in in a reasonable amount of time, I might have all of them here. If I don't lose them. Ah, there's our first flathead. <laughs> I told you, you can get the flatheads just as easily. Until you get them in, you're not going to know what you have. There's a green old guitar. He's a little on the small side. Now, did that gun damn thing did time out. But that's four out of the six already, guys. So it is not going to take very long. It's not going to take very long at all. I'm not sure if this was the fourth rod. I think it was. Okay. Okay, so that one does have its bait. Rotten minnows. This is definitely a favorite of the flatheads too, guys. So I do believe I have one of what, of what we're after. He's much smaller. He's only 32 pounds. So I guess 40 was on the upper end. I'm, hmm. It's interesting to know.
This may not take long at all, guys, honestly. I was very surprised how quickly they went. Okay, he is not that serious. I think this may be our last one, unless it's a flathead. Yep, it is definitely the last one. And he's on the upper end of the scale. But you can definitely see they are not a small fish. Not small at all. I'll get a picture of him because I think he was the biggest of the six that I caught. And that is of all that we need from here. So now we need to move on. Now you can stay here and catch as many of these guys as you want. Because, like I said, these are really good cash. Really good XP. Especially if you're an early player. And since they're so easily caught, I'm sure you could fill your net fairly fast. Alright, we're back at the main map. Now I'm going to head to the Everglades. And they should have got... If they haven't given you licenses for all of these, they usually will make it cheaper. I got the DLC, so all of mine are pretty much open. But I think I might have licenses for all of them anyway. Don't remember. But let's go ahead and head on to the Everglades. Now in the Everglades, there's two good locations to catch the uh, Florida Gar. So again, the Albino Yeti Gar should be caught in the same spots. But I've had I've had some luck here in the floating thickets, but it seems like the lily pad channel has always been the best for me. So let's go ahead and go to a private room. And jump in here. Oh, forgot the pumpkins too. Let's get some sour bread there. I need to go through. I didn't do that in the heron. Forgot completely about doing that. But you guys kind of know to go ahead and do that. I don't need to record that. So well, let's go ahead and take it to night. Oops. All right, now let's go ahead and put our rod pot out here, and I'll show you where's the best spot to catch them. There's a couple of them right here that's really, really good for these guys. One of them is right here in this area, and then over here in front of these lily pads. It seems like the this area, though, is the best of all. So I'm going to spread it out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this rod over here and then I'm going to put the other three on the other side there and that marker is actually a really good spot for them And I'm just going to kind of fan it out right in front of those lily pads. And I 
think I'm going to place this one right here. And I think I've got the whole areas covered. And it's just a matter of waiting for them to finally bite. Okay. Looks like it's a second rod and they definitely have it. So. Now I think the Yetis are in the 60 pound range. So you're going to need a little bit bigger gear to get these guys in. And there they are. Yeah, he's 53, but I think he's kind of low. On the low side of things. And here I'll go ahead and show you what he looks like. Now, yeah, he's kind of ugly too, but not as ugly as those gar, uh, uh, green ogre gars. <laughs> green ogre gars are just the absolute ugliest. He's just kind of vicious looking, honestly, to me. That albino on those red eyes. Get a picture of him. 63 inches, that's not a small fish. Alright guys, I think I have my last fish here. If not, well, I don't think it's the right one. You will get regular Florida, Florida Gar. I've already gotten a couple of those and a trophy one. There's your regular Florida Gar. and They go for the same baits. So, that will happen. But I've been getting plenty of bites. The only thing I did run into, guys, is that I did fill up my stringer. You really need to carry a big, big stringer. So, make certain of that. I think I'm getting a bite over here. I'm not sure. I thought that was going to finish it out. But we are getting pretty close here. Our fish here, guys, finally. Took a little longer to get these than the green Olgagars, but I think we've got our fish. And then we move on to Quanchkin. And that's where they really get big, so we're definitely going to need much bigger hooks for the, the black vampire. But that's it. And he was definitely on the uh, lower end for some reason but he counts alright well, let's go ahead and pack up our gear and I'll meet you over Quanchkin alright guys we are at Quanchkin and I've already set things up with a private room I've already upscaled my hook sizes I'm using cap and hooks 7 aught and I didn't have enough of them so I went ahead with some 8 aughts as well just regular simple hooks and the place we want to go there I'm sure you can catch them at other locations because I have on occasion but the most successful uh, peg that I've been at for them is that down south which is on the north end of the lake so that's where you want to go we're going to need to of course advance time like we normally have been doing and oh there's a pumpkin over here might as well grab it while I'm here got some more frogs frogs are expensive definitely can use a frog but anyway, I've already got the markers out there. That is where I've been catching alligator gar, and that's where we need to send our lines once we advance time here. Now, it looks like this is a peak night, the very beginning. I might as well put it here, because otherwise we're going to get other fish. So I'm going to forward time to here. Now I want to get the event fish if I can. I still might get an alligator gar though. That can very easily happen. They definitely go for the same baits. I'm going to throw them right where those markers are. That's where I've been catching them. Plenty of alligator gars. I've got vampire gars. In fact, I think I even have. Let me check my map here, but I think might be this one yeah see that's from last year 
2021 Black Vampire Gar, and I think it was a record for me. Personal record. So that's where they're caught. I don't know if you can catch them with other gear. Doesn't say. Pretty much seems to be focusing on those particular baits. But I do know you can catch the alligator gar with some crankbaits. It seemed logical that you could these as well, but I don't know. Right now we're just trying to grind them to get this mission done. Let me see here. Let me get this one out here, and I'm going to throw it right where I caught. No, I can't. I'm going to have to get... Can't get the distance. Might be able to still get them, but... There's a pumpkin over there that I need to collect. Now, I've been collecting the pumpkins as much as I can, if I can remember. <laughs> I need to get quite a bit of gear from those things. Alright, we definitely got one going after it right where the marker is. Yeah, these are taking even longer than the albino yeti. So the ogre, green ogre guards you catch really fast. The albino yetis, eh. And these take a minute. <laughs> but it sounds like I got another bite on the other one, so let's see how big this fella is. 77 pounds. 1756 cash. Now we're talking big cash here. Big cash. Let's see how big this fella is here. Ah, that. That, that my friends, is a fish. He's also pretty ugly, too, <laughs> without a doubt. It sounded like we were getting another bite, but I had to move all the way over here because this rod just does not have the casting distance of some of these others. But I haven't gotten any other bites so far. I did hear one going off just for a minute, but... But yeah, I just came over here, and it just so happens that I cast it just the right distance. And I would definitely say it was entertaining to watch, because as soon as he came for it, you could see a swell of water under it, because he was so big. And then he jumped out of the water before he grabbed it. Unfortunately, I didn't get that recorded, which kind of disappointed me, but... When it rains, it pours. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got what we're after. Yeah, nothing bit for a long, long time, guys. And that seems to happen a lot in this game. Now I'm getting them all over the place. Which means I'll probably lose one of them. Yep, I sure did. And this was an alligator gar. So, even though I got one, I didn't get the right one. That is going to happen. But there's your basic alligator gar, which you are going to catch this under normal conditions. But they're only about half the size of those vampire gar. Damn, I can't believe I just lost another one there. Strike timed out, which means that we have to reel this sucker back in and recast. Nope, didn't lose the bait, which is surprising. I am going to try over here this time, though. I have got an alligator gar over here, so I'm not entirely convinced I won't get one of these guys.
Nice. I just wanted to let you know. I was fishing for the black vampire gar and I just managed to catch my personal best trophy alligator gar. That was not what I was fishing for, but I will definitely take it at 98 pounds. Holy crap. Yeah. This is a big fella. Oh, man. Without a doubt. My personal best. Yeah, you're going to get the alligator gar. They're going to be caught, but... I had no idea I was going to break my old record. 77 inches. Better than 77 inches long. Wow, that's a big fish. Turn my light off so you can see my face a little bit better. That is cool. Now let me get a picture of him because that's worthy of taking, even though it's not part of the, the whole deal here. Still cool thing to talk about. He's a big fish. Yeah, I caught him and I caught another gar right before that. That was not a vampire. I've only got three out of the six still. This is taking a while, without a doubt. There we go. Now let's see if we get what we're after this time. black gar. I think it is. No, nope, I think it's an alligator. It is. No, nope, it's a black vampire. 76 pounds, not too bad. 1765 cash. 74, one six, seven six inches. Oh, four out of the six. It is a little bit slow going, guys. I will tell you that. It seems with each iteration of these, they get a little harder to get. You just got to be patient. All right, guys. I think we might have our last one. I don't know. For some reason... The second night I went out here, I did a little bit better. First night, I only managed to get two. But this is definitely a black vampire. So this will end it. Once we get this fella in. And it's it. 87 pounder. He's definitely a good size one. Nice fish. Almost 2,000 cash. We got a reward, the pendant against the evil eye. This has been placed in our backpack. And so now we go ahead and leave. We don't have to pack up the gear. It'll come with us. So let's go ahead and leave. Okay, we need to go back to Lone Star Lake. So I didn't know if we had to find the darn thing, but apparently we just had to catch the fish. That one was a little more time consuming than some than it was the most time consuming one. River was time consuming only because we didn't know exactly what we were doing. We're gonna head back over to the rune stones. Witch's cackle will happen. Yep. Yeah, we can see what we gotta go after next. I can't imagine now what's possible. Something about demon fish, I think, is what's next. Yep. 
Next time is the Ring of the Demon Lord. Get the mission. All right. Blue catfish rose from the depths of the water of St. Croix Lake and became demons. Catch the monsters, and in one of the catfish you will find the Ring of the Demon Lord. One monster was seen near the boat station in the afternoon. Boat station. Okay. So, reward is moldy cheese, a bait coin, and 666 cash. Alright, I guess the next step is to travel to St. Croix Lake, and that's going to be probably a multiple mission. Because I think we're going to be getting different demons from different lakes, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I hope it wasn't... I hope it wasn't too long, but they are some of these are kind of lengthy. But anyway, I will see you later, guys. Bye-bye.